uh, as well as what we talked about. So here we are in, uh, we're in Fresno, right? Yep. Fresno, California, and all we've done in here is come in and try and uh, repair what was happening in here. Up top here, the flange that mounts to the sink, uh, the, the basket strainer, uh, had come loose. All three screws had backed out. It was just hanging there. So we dropped the disposal first thing, took everything apart, cleaned it up. It's pretty corroded, but it, all of it's still usable. So brand new putty up there on the sink. Uh, got the flange tightened back up. Got the screws tightened back down. Everything's good there. Uh, cleaned out as best we could this disposal uh, and ran a bunch of water through it. We got a high loop on this right here. We know it's not code. Homeowner knows it. But we went ahead and popped it up there beside the sink so at least it's got a high loop in there and tied back in. The waste kit is sketchy to say the, that's a very nice way to say that that's just a horrible piece of work in there. A uh, piece of something in there. So what we'd like to do at some point is just cut the waste back to the wall and go all tubular. So you would have brand new tubular fittings that comes out to a tubular P-trap instead of the Schedule 40. This kit right here, it's, it's a telescoping kit that we get out of Ferguson or Home Depot. And it's all solid tubing. This corrugated tubing, horrible for waste, especially horizontal waste. So we'll replace everything up to and including... And even if you wanted to at the time, like I say, if you want to buy a new basket strainer, we'll put a new basket strainer in. But all the plastic, the tailpiece, the T, the telescoping piece that comes over to the garbage disposal, the P-trap, all that. And we're going to install a faucet. So the homeowner is going to buy a faucet, uh, you know, off of Amazon. We recommended one to them. So they're going to purchase that. We'll get a one-third horsepower Badger uh, 1 uh, disposal from Ferguson because it comes with the electrical cord on it. Uh, so we'll get that. We'll get the telescoping kit. Everything we need in here to get this buttoned up so that it functions correctly and it doesn't leak. Um, shutoff valves are, are functioning. But we one thing we would like to do is go ahead, they're like six bucks each, go ahead and put in some new braided stainless steel supplies. Those uh, existing look like they came with the home, and uh, so we'll put in new braided supplies there as well. And I just want to get, I'm going to get this on video, get it on paper, so at least we, I can remember what it is that I, I don't like to tell people I'm going to do something and forget what it was that I said. So it's on video, and then it's uh, we'll get it in the in the receipt as well. Outside of that, the service call is done.